Hello and welcome to Life in Architecture. My name is Daniel and I'm coming here to you from the Pettit Chapel. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is probably, well I don't want to say it was the only structure designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in a cemetery, but um, probably one that's um, one that one that stands out. So it's essentially a chapel in the middle of uh, an open cemetery. And uh, this is in Belvedere, I believe that's what the name, name of this town is. About an hour, hour 15 minutes west of Chicago. And, um, you know, I was reluctant in coming out here, um, but I knew I wanted to do something big uh, because uh, I start the second semester of, um, of the, uh, my architecture program um, next week, virtual essentially. Um, and I knew I wanted to do something big, but I was a little bit reluctant to, to do the, the one hour and, and 15 minute drive up here. Uh, but boy, am I glad I did. Yeah. Um, so I see there's some people here, but I'll uh, walk you through the uh, chapel a little bit. That's the uh, side. I'll flash a picture of it. I'll flash some pictures of the outside as well, or the inside. Um, the uh, so this is built in the prairie style, um, prairie style style, <laughs> if I could say that, of of Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, one that he had a lot of success with in the um, in the early 1900s um, around the Midwest. And some some on the East Coast. Um, flash some examples here and there, but this is a, a cool opportunity. Uh, it's pretty a unique opportunity to be able to come out to this site and hang out um, and not look super sus, right? Um, it's if anybody's interested. Um, and I really couldn't think of a topic, so I'm gonna kind of free flow a little bit. Um, knowing that it's a, a little strange that I'm walking through the cemetery I guess I guess something fitting right for the circumstance is um, how important is it to know what your calling is and know that you're working towards it every day as much as possible right even 15 minutes a day I've talked about this uh, about turning pro how important is that because, you know, life, a person's life in the span of all of human existence is, is like a, is like a wink, right? Um, you know, how do you, how do you, like, how are you waking up every day knowing that eventually you know, we all, humans all have the same fate, right? Um, and, you know, every, it's everybody's path is going to be different. But um, it's really important for you to, for you to come out and, um, and experience and, and really engage with the world as much as possible. So that when that moment does come for you, you're feeling like, you know, you had some level of satisfaction with life you had a great level of engagement you were bold you you said I love you to people that you love right um, you know like I said it, it it shows up in different ways for different people for me that happens to be architecture <laughs> which is why I'm out here um, but I challenge you you know to audit your daily habits and you know what you're doing everybody has responsibilities right that maybe sometimes take away and take a good portion of your time but there's other times where you could protect your time from people that aren't the best vibration right in your circle so it's auditing your circle as well um, but also you know there's times when you just want to mindlessly watch YouTube videos I'm the biggest perpetrator of that. 
I just want to watch YouTube videos till, you know, till I'm dizzy, <laughs> till I just want to go to sleep because because uh, I'm just like, oh, my mind's fried from content, right? Sometimes we're we're that tired, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, I guess you know, just kind of wanted to talk about. Um, I guess this is kind of in the in the realm of legacy, right? And how are you showing up every day um, to make sure that you're proud of your legacy, right? So you can tell your grandchildren, you know, the things that you did and, you know, the things that you achieved and, and how you showed up, right? And for me, um, it's architecture, like I said, and it's little things like this, you know, like coming out on a weekend and looking at this beautiful architecture, right? You know, so what makes this beautiful? So we'll, we'll, we'll change gears here. We'll make this a little productive and a non, kind of an impromptu, uh, impromptu analysis. What makes this beautiful? I mean, everything is intentional about this structure. Everything is intentional. When you go, you know, it's, it's first of all, it's symmetrical. I'll flash a couple pictures. Second of all, everything that is 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 put in for function also is put in rhythmically so like these windows that wrap around they are obviously to let light in but they also create this scape on the inside of of the pattern with the you know with the with the different pieces and then they also fit in rhythmically as they're framed in and you know they, they don't just like end they kind of there's this wall that butts in or that butts out and then there's like this cascade of of, of stairs right next to it which is kind of like a waterfall um, another thing taken from nature you know there's so much you know the overhanging roof you know the 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 the, the you know the, the 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 large spaces in between the pillars right these structural pillars that give it the 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 the, the feel of being airy an airy structure there's so much beauty in such a small, small place. I mean, this is probably, I mean, if it's 200 square feet, that's being generous, right? Um, so yeah, I'll take you, uh, take you through one more time. And um, yeah, I guess that, that's a good, uh, those are good topics for today. Is how are you showing up? You know, how can you play bigger? If you feel like you have problems in life, how can you find bigger problems? Right? I was just listening to uh, Dean Graziosi a talk um, that he gives every year. And, and he talks about that, right? How can you, if you feel like oh, you're weighed down by life's problems, how can you find bigger problems? Problems related to the things you want to achieve in life. That's a good way to change your mindset, right? So, again, legacy, a little bit of architecture. Not bad for a Saturday afternoon. I will leave you from Petit Chapel, flash a couple pictures. Um, but other than that, hope you guys have a good winter, winter 2023, and um, or the remainder of it. And, uh, you know, I'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.